Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday, August 3rd. This will be your full length reading on TikTok and YouTube. If I exceed the 10 minutes, follow me on YouTube. Um, you guys know how um, to schedule uh, for the August special. Send me a text or email. Don't go through the app. Um, also, if you're interested in purchasing my deck or a bracelet, I do have one of the bracelets on right now. This is the one for heart chakra, selenite and Shravosky. I always say that wrong. So that's one of them. Um, you can send an email to my husband at tashas.merch at gmail.com. All lowercase, no apostrophes. I'm going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, I'm going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. What does the collective need to know for their greater good? Oh, that was too many. What's the collective need to know for their greater good? Wow. Okay. First card out is to the sea. Card number seven. Things are aligning for you. This is your spirit guide, your spirit team moving you on. Moving on to calmer waters. You operate from this loving space. You have a loyal heart. So you're operating, you're vibrating in love energy. Divine timing is at play, but fate and destiny is at hand. So there are fated events that are happening in divine timing for you. And this is because you are living according to universal law by the book. You understand that you have to be in this loving energy, that you have to forgive and release. And you know that when you put out loving energy, loving energy returns back to you. Okay, so let's clarify these cards. Truth and only truth of the collective. Please clarify to the sea. Wow, this flew on the floor. Hold on, guys. Please clarify to the sea. Okay, so to the sea, you're moving away from a situation where you don't feel like you missed an opportunity. You have no regret. You're not abandoned or rejected. Uh, whether this was someone in your past that attempted to put you in that energy, you're not. Maybe you were at one time, but you're not now. You're in this Queen of Wands energy. Um, you have taken your power back. You're proud and you're confident. You're driven and you're passionate. You're inspired and you do inspire others. Expect communication. Somebody wants to rush in and give you some sort of truth. Let me get one more. Let me just ask, um, what is this communication? Somebody wants to reunite with the Three of Cups. All right. Please clarify, loyal heart. Yeah. So <clears throat> this kind of came out sideways. Loyal heart. Is this someone heavy in regret? They are blocked. They're ashamed by the things that they've done. And this is a blockage for them. They are ashamed. Um, this could be a Leo or someone that's just trying to have strength. They've seen that you've done the healing work. They know that you have, that you're over them. But this person is now drowning in emotion with the King of Cups here. Drowning in emotion. Give me one more for loyal heart. Yeah, this person now wants to come in and fight for the connection with you, but they're a player. They haven't changed. They haven't healed. They haven't evolved. They've done no work. So Spirit's just warning you. Yeah, look at this. Somebody just wants to win at all cost. Ego-driven, ego-based. Yeah, they're saying put death to the situation. You have real divine love coming. Just walk away. Just walk away. Yeah, remember the pain this person caused you and the burdens that they, they caused you. This person put three swords in your back. There could have been a third party interference. Spirit says it's time for you to move on in a new direction. One where you're valued. Okay. All right. So let's clarify TikTok. Yep. Thank you, Spirit. It's only a matter of time before a true divine partner comes in and invests in you. Whether it's a feminine or a masculine, this is just a divine energy. Divine timing is at play. Okay. Wow. Yeah, and you will take this brand new leap of faith. You will take this journey with this new new partner, this divine partner. Okay, please clarify the faith. Wow. 
one more. Look at this. The fates. This is you and this earth angel energy. You have balance. Balance is being restored. You integrate the light and the dark. You are, you've closed out a past cycle and you're starting a brand new cycle. This is a cycle where you're very grounded. You're stable. You're financially secure. You have abundant energy. You're loving and nurturing. And this is a wish fulfillment that's coming in for you. Wow. 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 Okay. Let me get one more for the fates. Yeah. And you're divinely protected. And so is this connection that's coming in. All right. Please clarify by the book. By the book. Because you live according to universal law, you have the understanding what you put out, you get back. It is justice for you to walk away from the past. It's justice. They're asking you to stay to yourself. Continue to remain in hermit mode, going within for answers, keeping your information private. Yeah, because you have this king of wands that's putting in a lot of work to try and bring destruction toward the empress. Okay, well, what's the outcome for this King of Wands who keeps meddling in collective energy? Yeah, see, this person sees you embracing a new beginning. They're confused because they've done so much to slander you and come against you and none of it's worked. You're still happy. Someone from your past. You're still having victory. And they're confused. You have a passionate new beginning. You're working with your community. You co-create with the universe. You're still getting a soulmate. You're still getting a soulmate. None of it worked. It was all for nothing. Yeah. The good news coming in for you is you have a divine union coming in. Someone that is sent to you by God that is meant to co-create. That love offers coming. But you needed to stand alone first to know your value and worth. To know that you can be self-sufficient on your own with God's help. You know your value now. And so does this person. Yeah, you're building generational wealth. A legacy for yourself. That's beautiful. You may have felt stuck or stagnant in the recent past. This is so that you could receive divine enlightenment, that you could have clarity, you could see things from a higher perspective, and now you protect your energy. Truth, clarity, and victory will be yours. You are the high priestess, highly connected, highly protected, and divinely guided. Wow. And every time someone tries to bring you drama, your spirit guides are just going to warn you and move you away. It's not going to affect you at all. All right. Let's get from another deck, guys. Let's do the energy. Alchemy Rising 888. Okay. What does the collective need to know for their greater good? What does the collective need to know for their highest good? Please show me collective need to know for their highest good yeah they said now is the time to pursue what you're passionate about you have access to this kundalini this is higher vibrational energy now is the time to go after it yeah you're a warrior you're a fighter they want you to fight for what you know is is right for you release the past with love and compassion and walk in a new direction continue to have patience with your awakening, with your manifestations. Yeah, be adaptable to change. You have divine wisdom and stability is headed your way, okay? For some of you who've already seen changes in your finances, I get messages all the time. Yeah, people in the community are seeing you as someone that's a dreamer, someone that um, is a powerful manifester. Yeah, justice is playing out for this intense situation that someone put you in. Justice, two signs, Libra and Scorpio could be involved. Yep, abundance, what did I say? Calling it abundance. Again, they're saying victory will be yours, but continue to keep what you're doing private. Yeah, you are unique and you are embracing your unique gifts and talents. And you have remained uh, in this faithful energy. You have faith. You believe. Yeah, you're dependable. Let's get one more. 
Yeah, you can reflect back on the past and understand the lesson and now you co-create with the universe. That's beautiful. Okay, let's see what else. What else, spirit, what else? I wanna get romance advice because we wanna make sure we're in our highest vibration before we call in a partner. You don't wanna repeat any kind of karmic cycle. What does the collective need to know in regards to love and romance? This card has been coming out a lot, not only in my private readings, but in collective readings. I'm gonna get another one. This one has too. This came out in a private reading yesterday. Okay, let's get one more. Woo. Okay, yeah. So they're saying embrace through each other. You find the missing pieces. This is your soulmate. And it's important right now to take a step back to spend time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. That's that nine of pentacles energy. Uh, learning to be self-sufficient and dependent, knowing your value and worth. There's power in knowing that you can care for yourself. There truly is. They want you to, to be careful, beware what you're projecting because the qualities you admire in one another are also qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are your own reflection. So that's why you have to be at your highest vibration and healed because you're, you will call in energetically the match to you. So if you have unhealed wounds, your person you're calling in is gonna have unhealed wounds that match that. So it will magnify those wounds. That's why and it'll end up being a karmic lesson. That's why we have to work through our trauma, work through our pain and healing before we get into a union. All right, think of a yes or no question. What does the collective, what does the collective need to know for their highest good? Reconsider taking anyone back from the past. Past energy has really been heavy and they're saying no, reconsider. Wow, I got a time frame of a few months asking for help from others. It's just, they can talk about you calling on your spirit guides. Abundance is headed your way. So for many of you, there may be a change in your career or finance in the next few months. Yeah, a new opportunity in the next few months. Now that won't be for everyone, so take it how it resonates, but they want you to continue to remain in this emperor empress energy, setting boundaries, knowing your value and worth. With unlikely, they're saying the past is unlikely to change in this lifetime. They just want you to forgive and release them. Release any pain associated with that lesson. What's coming in for you is all that you wished and dreamed and hoped for in that past person, but they never were. You're gonna be given exactly what you deserve, which is divine love. Someone that's honest, kind, loving, and loyal that will bring peace in your life, not chaos and conflict. So that's beautiful. Okay. Let's do the Cancerian Oracle. Do the Cancerian Oracle and see what comes out. Truth and only truth for the collective. The collective needs to know. You're gifted. Trust your gut. You're guided and you're protected. No one can affect you unless God allows it. So it doesn't matter if someone's sending you evil eye, if someone is doing magic on you. If you're in a high vibration and you're in the vibration of love and you've surrendered everything to God, there is no one that can touch you unless God permits it. So you just remember that fear is an illusion. Yeah, your intuition is correct. It's always correct and it's gonna keep guiding you in the right direction. You took a sour situation, you turn it into something amazing for you and your life. Yeah, and you're gonna be celebrating soon. What's the celebration, Spirit? Now yeah, you're trusting in God. You nurtured your mind, body, and spirit. What's the celebration? Divine love. That's the celebration. Because you trust in God, because you took care of your mind, body, and spirit, you leveled up. You're calling in a divine partner. Yeah, continue to set boundaries. Okay, know your value and worth and don't settle for less ever. You deserve way more. Okay, is there anything else we need to know? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels and Saints. Is there anything else we need to know? Is there anything else we need to know?
Wow, these same two cards came out yesterday and I shuffled this deck multiple times. The narcissist from your past is going to have health issues because of all of this negative energy that they have projected, the negative things that they have done, and they want you to cleanse your energy, protect your energy. I just saw an orb. Wow. Yeah, believe in miracles because a miracle will soon happen. For some of you, you're gonna be taking a trip. That's beautiful. Yeah, continue to get more grounded, get more connected, meditate. And for many of you, you are manifesting a new home and I do see a new home. So that's beautiful. All right. All right, I'm gonna pull some past life cards. Feel called to do that. For the collective, for whoever this resonates for, show me past life for the collective. May or may not resonate, you know, our memories wiped when we come into this inc incarnation, but there's still remnants sometimes that remain. So let's see. For many of you, you were, you died in the Civil War as a masculine, a young masculine energy. Um, so, you know, the Civil War may be significant or watching war movies. I also see that you were burned at the cross as, uh, burned at the cross, burned at the stake as a witch at, during the Salem witch trials. So that may resonate for some of you as well. Some of you were imprisoned or slaved, enslaved. Um, so you may have a fear of tight spaces in this lifetime. For others, you, in one of your lives, you lived off the land with the farm here and you may feel most um, at home in nature, very connected to, to nature. Atlantis, you come from Atlantis, which Atlantis, you know, is an advanced civilization. Um, so you, you've come here to raise the vibration of the world with your energy. You may be called to water. You may feel so drawn to water because of this. Um, I also see scribe or writer. You, an, you were an accomplished scribe or writer in a past life. So you may feel pulled to or drawn to write a book. Okay, guys, this is the reading I have for you. I love you. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.